Hey guys, this is Lonnie with Penguin Network, and I've just got a couple minutes in between appointments with clients this morning, and I thought I'd run by all of you a little game that we did last week with our networking group, and it's just a way for you to diagnose how you're doing with your marketing. And if you don't mind, I'm going to put sunglasses back on because I live with these things all day. It's so bright out. But uh, this is what it looked like. And if you want to use this, I can actually email that form to you so you can go out and uh, run through this little game yourself. But it's Marketing Hangman. And you don't want to leave yourself hanging with your marketing and have it uh, half finished or ineffective. And so this is just a little tool we put together. Uh, definitely not supposed to be comprehensive and it's not going to cover everything about marketing for sure. Uh, but here's some questions for you. You can just make a little hangman diagram and see how many of these you have and how many are working. And if you don't, just make a little spot on the hangman and see if you end up hanging at the end of the game. So here's the questions. If you get a no answer to these, then you add a body part. So here's the first one. Uh, can you say what your mission statement is as a company? That's very, very basic. Who you are as a company determines what your mission statement is. So can you do that within about 15 seconds? If not, you probably need to get with some people in your company and figure out what is your mission as a company. So that's the first one. If you don't have that, go ahead and add a circle for the head on your little hangman game. See, this is going to be fun. Uh, second one, if you look at your fonts and typography, are those fonts the same on your business cards and your website and your social media, basically any of your marketing materials? Uh, if not, that's something you want to do. Uh, you want to make sure that there's consistency in your branding across the board so people, when they see your image, your colors, all that, it really ties together. So if you don't have that, you don't know what that is, it's a style sheet. You probably want to have one of those made up for your company so that everybody in your company knows what to use on what marketing. Okay, next one. Take your business card or website and have someone, probably not an employee if you're the owner of the company because they may not tell you the truth. If you know someone in your company that's definitely going to tell you the truth, go ahead and ask them. But ask them if your logo looks dated. And so don't ask them if it looks good because it might have looked good in 1935, but maybe it doesn't look good now. And I don't mean by that that you can't use retro elements. We actually use retro colors and shapes and uh, patterns in our own logo. So it's completely valid to artistically incorporate historical elements into your marketing. Uh, but you don't want to accidentally look dated. It's kind of like accidentally telling a funny joke when you're trying to be serious. <laughs> That's a bad thing. All right, so we'll move to the next one. If you didn't have that, add another element to the hangman. See where you're at. We had a couple people last week that uh, had 90% uh, hung by the time they were done. That's a bad place to be if you're trying to be a serious marketing. Uh, be serious about the marketing for your company. Uh, the next one, let's see. Are the visual elements at the top of your Facebook page and social media website, are they similar? Do they tie together? Or are they completely different? And if someone came to your Facebook page, they wouldn't even have any way of knowing that that was the same company as your website. Uh, there, there can be strategic reasons to do that, but for the most part, generally speaking, you want to have uh, the same messaging across the board. So are those the same? Uh, next one here. Does your marketing communicate visually and textually what problem you solve. In other words, if I land on your Facebook page, it's very easy to find out what problem you're gonna solve for me. Is there images that persuade me and show me what problem I solve? And the same with your uh, website. Will I know very quickly uh, what it is that you're gonna solve for me? And we had actually somebody five years ago with us as a company that landed on our website and said the same thing. They said, I don't know what problem you solve for me. And so there you go, check that out on your website. If you don't have it, add another body part. We're gonna keep going. Next one, can you easily explain the emotional reason that clients want to use your company? And this is similar to what I just described, but it's very important. And as much as we all want to believe that people are rational creatures, uh, the fact is most people buy on emotion. And I think that word gets abused in our culture, how we use the word emotion. That's a whole philosophical discussion that we can have. But there's usually a pressing need or a pressing, uh, you know, emotional visceral is maybe a better word, reaction for why people buy what they buy. There should be imaging, uh, there should be ways that you connect with that in your marketing. And so you need to be able to describe what that emotional or visceral reaction is, why people want to use your product or service very easily. So next one, uh, do you have a way currently to measure the marketing effectiveness uh, that you use right now? Is it effective? How do you know? Uh, in the day of digital media, we specialize in digital media. 
uh, out of home media as well as Facebook social media campaigns, SEO, all that. Uh, there are very effective ways to actually be able to measure. So if you can't measure, if you're not able to see the results, you probably need to take a look at that in your marketing plan and see if you can improve it. Uh, the last one for today, do you have a long-term marketing plan in place? does it lack really discipline to be effective so one way to test this is if you're running a Facebook social media campaign or an AdWords campaign and you're kind of just uh, trying it out for a couple weeks and then you don't get any response to it and then you cancel it that probably is going to lack the discipline that you need to have it to be effective for you so as much as you know it's fun to try those different things it's probably not a valid experiment uh, if you're just going to shut that off after a few weeks without really giving it a serious plan for a long period of time that's going to strategically hit a goal you're aiming for. So that's it for today. Again, if you want us to email this, just uh, let me know. It's Lonnie at penguinnetwork.net. If you drop me an email there, I'd be happy to send it over. As I said, this is not comprehensive. There's a lot that we can get into aesthetically with colors and shapes and... Uh, styles, a lot of those things, uh, photographs, the, the style that you're using photographs could probably be three different entries on its own. But that's just a quick one to think through today. If there's anything you have questions on, email me. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, share this video. Just click on that below and share it to let the people in, in, our, in Montana know, especially, is where we focus what we do. We'd love to help them out. We do con consulting. We do digital out-of-home advertising. Uh, we create visuals, graphics, uh, motion advertisements, and then we are a design-to-delivery solution. So you can actually have us design your spot and then play it on whatever you want, TV or our network or whatever. So thanks for your time. Hope you guys are having a great day.